so you can get to them. But as I said earlier, uh, baskets to me are so important in home decor. And I realized I was a basket collector way back. And I couldn't figure out why for a long time. And then it dawned on me, I totally appreciate form and function. These have a function, they have a job. It's not a tchotchke just sitting on a shelf for me. But they also have beautiful form because they're hand woven baskets. And this is a great example that is also hand painted. They're beautiful. You actually get all three of these baskets in this collection collection and you're just choosing which color you would like. The one in front of me is going to be the taupe. So we're calling that taupe. And this is a beautiful oak style color. And then we have white and we have black. I guess that's a little more towards the taupe. The three extra colors that we have will be the gray. Well, the one you're seeing on your left, your middle one is going to be the green. And the, uh, of the last one you're seeing is going to be the shades of red. Your size is in the small, about 11 inches by 10 inches. The medium is 13 inches high by 12 inches, and the large is 14 inches high by 15 inches. Stephanie, I don't know if you've ever figured that one out, but for, for me, being a basket collector, I've got to have form uh -huh. and function. That, that's kind of my world yes. of collectibles. For sure. And you definitely need something that's going to last a long time, right? I mean, I think about my mom. She used to collect very well-known baskets. They started with an L. And um, so I grew up with baskets as well. And this is definitely that type of durability because this water hyacinth is formed around a metal frame. So if you want to put sports equipment in these, you absolutely can. If you put them in the corner of your foyer, for example, and your shoes hit this edge, that's totally okay because this is actually a metal rim covered with very beautiful water hyacinth. Um, and I know that a tidy home really affects our moods, right? I mean, what for Mother's Day do people really want? A lot of moms say, I want happy kids I want a, and I want a clean house, right? I mean, there's something about coming home to a nice, tidy space. And when you have baskets, it's easier to clean your home. So that's, I think, really key here. Take a look at how many uh, towels that this can hold if you put this in your bathroom. I love that. If you have a cubby system of sorts, Suzanne, like I have here, you can see how beautiful all three of them look in a central area, and it just really pops with that color. My daughter, speaking of sports equipment, is really into rollerblades, and so I have found the perfect home for these instead of me tripping over them, which is so great. And don't be scared. I mean, I have my iron and my steamer and my little heater in here. This is very, very heavy, actually, and it can definitely withstand it. So everything, even the bottom down here, is very, very durable. It makes such a beautiful wedding gift, too, there, Suzanne. A lot of people get a lot of linens for their wedding, right? But what do they do with them? Well, now they can put it into a beautiful basket, put it in the side of their corner, and now they've decorated their home and stored and styled at the same time. And to your point too, I mean, how many of you have the kids' playroom and it's a hot mess and you're like, you know what, I just at the end of the day, once the kids go to bed, I need to have some peaceful space. Well, it's so quickly mm -hmm. to grab these, it's so quick to grab the baskets, toss all their stuffed animals in here, toss all their toys inside here, and then all of a sudden, that very chaotic space, it looks neat and looks pretty. And even if the kids toddle over to grab something out of it, they're a nice height for that, especially if you're gonna decorate them on, or use them on the floor. So I think there's so many ways to incorporate this too. Maybe in the summertime you've got a lanai and maybe you have a pull out back and you're like, you know what? We're going to put all the pull towels inside here and really pre present that elegant experience that, that quite frankly we'd love to have. And typically when you are doing these uh, touches that designers bring into your home or stylists will bring into your house, they can be very, very expensive, especially for this kind of quality, this kind of, they're very sturdy. Um, these can be expensive even for a single one, let alone the fact you get a set of three. Hey guys, I do want to give you an update on our wine wall. I think I've just renamed it. Uh, Kevin, let's do a quick update on that too. That very first item, that really cool trio wine rack. I've got about 250 left and then that will be completely sold out. So if you thought that was really an awesome item, which I do. Also, we didn't mention this, but Steph just did. That right there would be a fantastic wedding gift. Kind of something really different or someone's moving into a new place and they've got that open wall space. Again, I'm kind of hooked on that. I think it's really, really smart. But back to the baskets, four choices. Really easy. You're getting all three. The large, the medium, and the small. This one's called taupe with the white black accents. The next one's going to be gray, and that's gray and white. The middle one's going to be green, and that's a beautiful blue green. And the final one's going to be reds, which is kind of a red and a deep pink color is the bottom part of those baskets. Sizes. Your small is 11 inches high by 10 inches. The medium, 13 by 12. And the large is 14 and a half by 15 inches. So we got that figured out. Good to go. Let's continue on because we have a lot to get to. 
Oh, is it? We're just mentioning it real quick. Okay, really quick, I just want to show you this because I think it's really beautiful and it's absolutely clever as can be. This is gorgeous. This is actually cut glass and it is a water pitcher or it could be quite, quite frankly a wine decanter or you could put... Um,